how was up y'all's popping was cracking it's d about to react to the actual funny moments from the presidential debate the video i reacted to yesterday were the highlights but they didn't have any of the funny moments the main moments that are on this particular video uh this one is by rent free but i'm subscribed to them and this video was not uploaded yet <laughs> when i reacted to the other one so it's up now so yeah we're gonna see what with these funny moments i was watch in springfield they're eating the dogs the people that came in they're eating the cats they're eating they're eating the pets of the people that live there <laughs> She was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute, I'm talking now. Oh. You don't mind, please. Does that sound familiar? Oh. She went out. And I, oh. Bombastic side eye. We have a president that we don't even know if he's. Where is our president? They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know. Is he our president? But we have a president Mr. that doesn't know he's alive. All right. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Why would you say that? Kamala Harris. Thank you. I want to begin tonight with the issue that voters repeatedly say is their number one issue, the economy. Do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? I was raised as a middle class kid. And now my room was upstairs right there. I am actually the only person on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working people of America. And that is why I have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. We know that the cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. Yep. We know that young families need support to raise their children, and I intend on extending a tax cut for those families of $6,000, which is the largest child tax credit that we have given in a long time. Oh, okay. My passion, one of them, is small businesses. My mother raised my sister and me, but there was a woman who helped raise us. We call her our second mother. She was a small business owner. I love our small businesses. Oh, okay. My plan is to give a $50,000 tax deduction to start up small businesses. My opponent, on the other hand, his plan is to provide a tax cut for billionaires and big corporations. My opponent has a plan that I call the Trump's sales tax, which would be a 20% tax on everyday goods that you rely on in about $4,000 more a year. First of all, I have no sales tax. That's an incorrect statement. She knows that Lying. other countries are going to finally, after 75 years, pay us back for all the money <laughs> for the world. I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> I took in billions and billions of dollars, as you know, from China. China. They never took the tariff off because it was so much money they can't. When I had it, I had tariffs, and yet I had no inflation. We've had a terrible economy because inflation, which is really known as a country buster, it breaks up countries. I created one of the greatest economies in the history of our country. Oh. I'll do it again and even better. Donald Trump left us the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. Donald Trump left us the worst public health epidemic in a century. Donald Trump left us the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. And what we have done is clean up Donald Trump's mess. What you're going to hear tonight is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected again. You're stealing right to jail. You're playing music too loud right to jail right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. You're charging too high prices for uh, sweaters, glasses. You're right to jail. Nothing to do with Project 2025. That's out there. I haven't read it. I don't want to read it purposely. I'm not going to read it. It's stupid. None of Come it's on. true. None of it's true. <laughs> I love this None book. of it's true. It's BS. <laughs> they made it up. This was a group of people that got together. They came up with oh, some ideas. Shit. Like some good, some bad. But it makes no difference. I'm gonna actually do something really unusual and I'm gonna invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies because it's a really interesting thing to watch. Okay. He talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. Has anyone seen <laughs> Silence of the Lambs? The late great it. Hannibal Lecter. Oh, oh, He'd love to have you for dinner. And talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. <laughs> she really <laughs> came that way? <laughs> All right. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. People that do go, she's bussing them in and paying them to be there. Really? Quack. 
She can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most <laughs> incredible rallies in the history of politics. People don't leave That's because rallies. people want to take their country back. Oh, okay. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs. <clears throat> the people that came in, they're eating the cats. <clears throat> they're eating... They're eating the pets of the people that live there. <laughs> I heard this is facts. I'm about to erect the video, but... She's destroying this country. And if <laughs> she to becomes deeper. president, about the pets. this country Save doesn't the have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. Oh, and this is how really? 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 She's explaining it to you. Yeah, I'm just saying really. Springfield City Manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice we'll President Harris, out. I'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> I actually have the endorsement of 200 Republicans. Oh, okay. If you want to really know who the former president is, if he didn't make it clear already, just ask people who have worked with his former chief of staff, a four-star okay. general, that he has contempt for the Constitution of the United States. Oh, okay. His former national security advisor has said he is dangerous and unfit. His former secretary of defense has said the nation, the republic, would never survive another Trump term. Okay. See, I'm a different kind of a person. I fired most of those people. For what point? They did bad things or a bad job. I fired them. They never fired one person. They didn't fire anybody having to do with Afghanistan and the Taliban and the 13 people viciously and violently. <clears throat> you should have fired all those generals, all those top people, because that was one of the most incompetently handled situations anybody has ever seen. So when somebody does a bad job, I fire them. Under Donald Trump's presidency, he ended up selling American chips to China. China! To help them improve and modernize their military. <laughs> Donald Trump did with that. <laughs> is he actually thanked President Xi? Look at his tweet. When we know that Xi was responsible for not giving us transparency. First of all, they bought their chips from Taiwan. We hardly make chips anymore because of philosophies like they have and policies like they have. I don't say her because she has no policy. <laughs> Everything that she believed three years ago and four years ago is out the window. She's going to my philosophy now. In fact, I was going to say oh. mega hat. She's gone to my philosophy. <laughs> but if she ever got elected, she'd change it. <laughs> God, up messy up us. Donald Trump actually has no plan for you because he is more interested in defending himself than he is in looking out for you. She doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan, and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. No. <laughs> she is Biden. You know, she's trying to get away from Biden. I don't know the gentleman, she says. She is Biden. <laughs> no this is now your yeah. third time running for president. So tonight, nine years after you first started running, do you have a plan and can you tell us what it is? Obamacare was lousy health care. Always was. It's not very good today. I said that if we come up with something and we are working on things, we're going to replace it. I inherited Obamacare because Democrats wouldn't change it. They wouldn't vote for it. Excuse me, can you record me real quick? Uh -huh. Can you record me real quick? Uh -uh. Get some ideas to do it. I had a choice to make when I was president. Do I save it and make it as good as it can be, never going to be great, or do I let it rot? So, just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. Oh. I'm not president right now. Good question. Uh... I would only change it if we come up with something that's better and less expensive. And there are concepts and options we, we have, and you'll be hearing about it in the not-too-distant future. <laughs> When Donald Trump was president, he tried to get rid of the Affordable Care Act 60 times. I was a senator at the time. I will never forget the early morning hours when it was up for a vote in the United States Senate. And the late, great John McCain, you don't like him, you said at the time, because he got caught. He was an American hero. And I will never forget that night. Hold up. Wait a minute. I will never forget the early morning hours. Sad so I side eye walked onto the senate floor and said no you don't no you don't get rid of the affordable care act you have no plan and what the affordable care act has done is eliminate the ability of insurance companies to deny people with pre-existing conditions 
Mr. President, you recently said of Vice President Harris, quote, I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So she was known <laughs> as only black. promoting Indian heritage. I mean, people would say that she not black. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't know she was okay. black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you believe it's appropriate to weigh in on the racial identity of your opponent? I don't, and I don't care. I don't care what she is. I don't care. You make a big deal out of something. I couldn't care less. Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. But those were your words. So I'm Why asking you. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? No, I, mean, I think maybe his initial point is that she's trying to switch up now. Now she's trying to pander to, to the black community because she wants their vote. Now she's trying to, you know, talk about her collard greens. <laughs> How she wash them in the tub or whatever, whatever the fuck she says she do. So maybe that was his original point. I can say is I read where she was not black. That she put out. Oh, what did he say? And I read that she was black. Either one was okay with me. That's up to her. Honestly, I think it's a tragedy that we have um, someone who wants to be president who has consistently, over the course of his career, attempted to use race to divide the American people. I grew up a middle class kid raised by a hardworking mother who worked and saved and was able to buy our first home when I was a teenager. The values I bring to the importance of home ownership, knowing not everybody got handed $400 million on a silver platter and then filed bankruptcy six times. First of all, I wasn't given $400 million. I wish I was. My father was a Brooklyn builder, Brooklyn, Queens, and a great father, and I learned a lot from him, but I was given a fraction, <laughs> a tiny fraction. Oh, really? He looked crazy. That sucks. And I built it into many, many billions of dollars. Many, many billions. Many, and when people billions. see it, they are even surprised. Oh, good for you. She's a Marxist. Everybody okay. knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. Oh, my God. No. She was big on defund the police. In Minnesota, she went out. Wait a minute. I'm talking now. You don't mind. Please. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Really? What? Really? <laughs> I'm speaking. The important is you said the truth. Oh, okay. Well, she went out bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do you understand? Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. <laughs> uh, I just reacted to this performance last night. <laughs> Uh, on my Patreon, it's up right now. But yeah, that, that confused Her me. vice presidential pick says a bat in the ninth month is absolutely fine. It's an execution. There is no state in this country where it is legal to <clears throat> baby after it's born. Well, as I said, you're going to hear a bunch of lies. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. Donald Trump's hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. Trump abandoned <clears throat> bans that make no exception even for... <clears throat> A survivor of a crime of violation to their body does not have the right to make a decision about what happens to their body next. That is immoral. One does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree. The government and Donald Trump certainly should not be telling a woman what to do with her body. Mr. President, for three and a half years after you lost the 2020 election, you repeatedly uh, falsely claimed that you won, many times saying you won in a landslide. In the past couple of weeks leading up to this debate, uh, you have said, quote, you lost by a whisker, that you, quote, didn't quite make it, that you came up a little bit short. Are I you, that. Are you now acknowledging that, that you lost in 2020? No, I don't acknowledge it at all. But you said that say sarcastically. It. You know that. It was said, oh, we lost by a whisker. That was said sarcastically. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. One of your campaign's top lawyers responded saying, we won't let Donald Trump intimidate us. We won't let him suppress the vote. Is that what you believe he's trying to do here? Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. <laughs> so let's be clear about that. And clearly he is having a very difficult time processing that. I said then, I say now. Has a right to defend itself. We would. And how it does so matters. Innocent have been killed. <gasps> children mothers this war must end we need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out we must 
chart a course for a two-state solution. I will always give you the ability to defend itself, but we must have a two-state solution where we can rebuild Gaza. For the if I were president, it would have never started. She hates me. She wouldn't even meet with Netanyahu when he went to Congress to make a very important speech. She refused to be there because she was at a sorority party. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly. These dictators and autocrats are rooting for you to be president again because they're so clear. They can manipulate you <coughs> with flattery and favors. So many military leaders who you have worked with have told me you are a disgrace. Emotional, damn it. And we have a president that we don't even know if he's, where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here. They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know, <laughs> is he our president? But we have a president Mr. that doesn't know he's alive. I intend to be a president for all Americans and focus on what we can do over the next 10 and 20 years to build back up our country by investing right now in you, the American people. She's gonna do this, she's gonna do that, she's gonna do all these wonderful things. Why hasn't she done it? They've had three and a half years to fix the border, create jobs, and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? Why? 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 <laughs> she should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it, and you won't do it, because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. Life could be worse. No, not really. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Interessante. Yeah, this video had way funnier moments than the other video. <laughs> These were the juicy moments. This is what I was looking for in the, in the other video. Uh, but yeah, it seems like it was a hot mess. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. You know, go out and, and vote if you like. <laughs> or do what you want. I don't care. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.